Everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, I got a question the other day from Tim asking, how much water do I need daily? Now, one expert says eight to 10 glasses, and another expert says drink only when thirsty. What should I do? Now, this is a very important topic because for you to survive and live, you need three things in this order of importance. The first is air and oxygen, because without it, you die in minutes. Number two is water and basically being hydrated because without it, you die in a few days. And number three is food and calories. Without it, you die in about a week or so. So based on this, water is obviously very important. So the fact is you don't really need much water to survive. You can get it primarily from the foods you're eating, assuming you have a healthy diet. In fact, I know plenty of people who never have a glass of water and haven't had any in years and years. Now, they may have coffee, tea, soda, juice, you know, energy drinks, alcohol, and so forth, but never a drop of water, all right? Now, they tell me it tastes disgusting to them. However, some of these non-water drinking people I know also happen to be very close to me, friends and family, and over the years, the following has happened. One deals with kidney stones, another has had colon cancer, another has an acid reflux, one has painful cramps, especially at night and during sleep, one is constantly tired and fatigued and has adrenal problems, one has polycystic kidney disease, another is obese, another is diabetic, one has uric acid disease, one has headaches and migraines often, one is always constipated and needs to take laxatives daily, one has high blood pressure. Well, you get the point. And no, I'm not making this up. I actually sat down and took notes because as I thought of one person in their health ailment, another one popped in my head and then another and so forth. However, I'm only reporting to you, obviously, the people that I know personally over the past few decades. And of course, there are probably thousands of people who don't have any health problems and they never drink any water. Or maybe they do, right? But they don't think that the cause of the health problems is simply due to lack of water consumption and hydration. Thus, not drinking any water may cause health problems, if not already, probably eventually one day. Just remember, though, your goal in life is not to get by or to survive. It should be thriving every day. Now, some people or experts will say that thirst is a good signal. Maybe but probably not. Listen, thirst is usually an indicator that you are or will soon become dehydrated, meaning it's a little bit too late. Now, some will argue with a silly study saying otherwise or that there isn't conclusive evidence, but I disagree. Besides, how many people are really cognizant and in tune with their body to really stop and take note when they are thirsty and then to take immediate action and drink some water? I say very few. In fact, as I'm saying this, I notice that now I'm actually thirsty. But I'm not going to stop this recording. I'm doing right now, right? I'm not going to just stop and go get some water. And guess what? When that feeling of being thirsty, you know, will soon pass, then I, I will have forgotten all about it, right? I would have forgotten that I was thirsty. However, that does not mean that my body magically got hydrated. It just means that I've ignored it because I'm busy, or getting water just wasn't convenient for me at that moment that I felt thirsty. Also, when someone actually does feel thirsty, they rarely go get a cup of water. They usually drink some other liquid or beverage. And if they do get some water, they typically drink just a little bit, right? A couple gulps or sips, just enough to wet their mouth, but not to hydrate their body. Which brings up the other issue that some experts will say, how you can get your water from the foods you eat and other beverages. But that's just not how the body works. Listen, don't think for a second that the water in your protein, whether it's the meat, chicken, fish, or eggs, or your favorite beverage, whether it's coffee, tea, soda, juice, or even alcohol, is going to do or replace what clean, purified water will do for your body and health. This is just utterly stupid. In fact, all animals drink water every single day if they have access to it. And their diets are actually healthier than ours because they typically do have a lot more plants and vegetables and fruits which contain more water. And they also don't have any other kind of beverage like an energy drink or coffee or soda or whatever else, which are all acidic, full of chemicals and cause dehydration. This is why those uh, beverages don't replace the water. Now, you don't need to be a doctor to understand this, and I'm sure you can agree with me that it just makes logical sense. Clean water is an essential nutrient that can't be replaced with something like it, all right? 
Listen, I believe that water is magical and it has so many health benefits. Anytime I've given someone water, their health has improved. Whatever health ailments you have, drinking more water will help reduce the problem and could potentially just fix it. The simple fact that it improves your blood volume and viscosity, that it flushes out toxins and keeps your organs healthier, and that it boosts your energy levels and your immune system is reason enough to increase your water intake let alone the improved skin, the weight loss, the better muscle contractions, the improvement in your hormone production, less joint pain, reduction of stress hormones, and so on and so forth. Drinking more water is guaranteed to help you look and feel younger and allow you to thrive every day rather than just get by and survive. So at this point, you might think, great, but how much water should you drink? All right. Now, before I answer this, I want to make it clear that you should not be drinking tap water because it's high in toxins such as fluoride and chlorine. You want to drink purified water. Now, in regards to how much water you should drink, well, there's a lot of factors, all right? Do you exercise? Are you in warm climate? Do you sweat a lot? You know, are you drinking, are you taking prescription drugs? What are their beverages are you drinking and so forth? Thus, some people will need more water than others. But I typically say to people that you should drink about half your body weight in ounces, especially if you're an active person. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you should have around 75 ounces. That's half your body weight. There's eight ounces in a cup, and that comes out to about nine cups daily. Of course, when I say this to people, they freak out, and they say, man, there's no way I can drink that much. Or if I have that much water, I'll just be in the bathroom all day peeing it out. Or won't that just wash away all of my minerals? So let me address these questions. First, the main goal is just to drink more water than you are today. So if you're only drinking one cup, try to get two cups daily. That's a good start. Heck, if, if just because of today's message, the most you ever end up drinking is only three cups daily, that's still a better than that one lousy cup that you've been drinking. Your body will still make big improvements. My point here is that just try to have more water. That's it. Now, as far as peeing out all the water, yes, this is true because the water will initially not get absorbed quickly enough, all right? But over time, it will as your body adjusts to the extra water consumption. More importantly, I suggest you also add some real salt into your water, such as Himalayan or Celtic sea salt. You know, these salts have dozens of minerals which will help hydrate your body and have that water get absorbed into your skin, into your cells, I should say, rather than get immediately peed out into the bathroom. And this also helps solve the mineral dilution problem that you may be having from drinking just more water. I also add in a little bit of lemon juice for taste, and you can even sweeten it, sweeten the water with natural stevia herb. So there you have it. Try to drink about half your body weight in ounces. If that's too much, just try to drink one extra cup, you know, daily, you know, every few weeks, just add another cup. Purified water with Himalayan or Celtic sea salt, a little bit of lemon juice and stevia. Just make a big jug and drink it throughout the day please do me a big favor. Let me know what topics you'd want me to cover in my videos. I have a special link below underneath this video in the description area that you can just fill out and it'll go directly to me to my private email box and it'll tell me what you want so I can make more videos. This helps me make the videos that you want to watch about topics that you're interested in. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.